Hey there friends and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming. I'm Brianna White and today we'll be playing through another episode of Final Fantasy VII Remake. What's in store this episode? Only amazing things. We're in a very, very good part of the story and I can't wait for you to join me on the journey of playing it. So take a second before we begin to hit the like button and we'll get on to the gameplay video. Enjoy. He's just walked out the door. <clears throat> Holy moly. <clears throat> There's no one here in the kitchen. Have we seen this area very much at night? We really haven't, have we? It is so gorgeous. I mean, the different light sources from everywhere, it's so beautiful. There she is. How is this? Is this a dream? Maybe. You tell me. You okay? Don't I look it? I used to live in the Shinra building, back when I was really little. Hmm. Your mom told us. Right. So it kind of feels like I've gone back to my childhood home, you know? Honestly, it's not that bad. So what? You want to stay? Come on, Cloud. Don't be silly. Your mom's really worried, too. Hmm? Too? So you're worried about me? <laughs> Classic oh, Aerith. Of course I am. I'm sorry about that. Really. Is that... Oh, wow. Everyone dies eventually. I suppose. So we need to make the most of the time we have. To live our lives the way we want to live. Every minute, every moment matters. I'll remember that. Good. So... Need to embrace this moment, right? <laughs> I'm glad I met you, Cloud. I really am. I'm grateful for all the words we've shared, for all the moments and the memories. You've made me more happy than you know. And I'll always cherish what you've given me. But, but whatever happens, you can't fall in love with me. Even if you think you have, it's not real. Do I get a say in all this? It's almost morning. Time to go. I'm coming for you. If that's what you want. 
Thank you. <sighs> oh, wow. You've done more for us than we deserve. I won't forget this. If you ever need anything, all you gotta do is holler. Happy to help out, however I can. Elmira. I've been thinking about what you said. She's calling out to me. I can feel it. We all can. So please. She's our friend. We have to help her. I always knew it was coming. Knew that one day, I'd have to say goodbye to my baby girl. But not yet. <clears throat> Please, bring her back to me. <sighs> Daddy! <gasps> Marlene. Are you going? Sorry, honey. I wish I didn't have to. I wish I could be with you all the time. I really do. But if I stay here, I can't fight out there. Hmm? <laughs> Some bad people are trying to hurt the planet. And Daddy, Daddy and his friends are trying to stop those bad people. The slums, your friends, the whole planet. It's daddy's job to protect it. Hmm? <sighs> and that's why I've got to go. You remember that nice girl who came to find you? Well, now we have to go find her. And when we bring her home, you need to say thank you, okay? Okay. That girl, she was kind of... <sighs> what? Nothing. You should help her. We will. <sighs> You'll come back, right? Of course, I promise. Okay, you can go. <laughs> the music is so beautiful. Barrett. She's tougher than me. <laughs> All right, time to get some payback. Don't forget why we're doing this. I know, I know. To rescue Aerith. So, how are we supposed to get topside? With everything that's happened, the trains still aren't running. Well, we could walk along the tracks. The city's on high alert. All the roads and public transit have probably been locked down by now. So what's the plan, then? You know another way up? No, but I think I know someone who might. You mean Corneo? So, that scene, you know, ooh, where do I begin? Um, I did a lot of interviews leading up to and after the launch of this game. And in every interview, they, they asked, you know, what's your favorite line? And I couldn't say it, and I didn't want to because I didn't want to spoil it. But the line from that scene was my favorite. You can't fall in love with me. 
for some reason that line stuck so deep in my heart because it's so haunting the motivation behind why she says that and it all ties into Cloud's backstory and her backstory and And the reason why she says that line is so emotional. And I just knew sometimes as an actor, you get the opportunity to, to do a scene where you know that it's going to stick in people's minds, that you know it's going to just pierce them in the heart. I knew from the moment we recorded that line, I knew that scene was going to mean a lot to people. And so I have been waiting to see it in its full final glory for so long. And to finally get to see it and how beautiful it is, how wonderfully it all comes together. That was really, really beautiful, really impactful. And just the way that Cloud feels for her in that moment, the way that he is resolved to save her. So intensely. You just, you just feel it in your whole body. It just sticks with you. And, and then the emotions don't end, right? Because then you go down into Elmira's kitchen, the dining room, and Cloud says, you know, she's calling to me. We have to save her. And then Tifa's like, we have to. We can all feel her. It's it's beautiful. It's such a such a connection they all share. Such a deep friendship when they haven't even had that many interactions. It's really really something that you you just don't see a lot and i think you know it reminds me a little bit like um it reminds me a little bit of the characters in life is strange because those characters their strength is in how much and how vulnerably they care for one another and these characters have the same thing. And I think that's so well done and so unique. You just don't see it a lot. And it's so oh, cathartic and, and opens your own heart just to see it, I think. I love it. I love every part of that. Every, every part of it. Um... <sighs> Such a beautiful scene, it really is. Um. <laughs> is it bad that I just like don't want to leave this area? <laughs> a pedometer? The heck do I need a pedometer materia to like a a a measure of your footsteps may do something after taking a number of steps with it set. Lame. Or rather just strange.
I was hoping there would be something here to confirm that it was more than just a dream, but got nothing. And was it just a dream? Or was it something more? Begs the question, this game's always, always saying, do you think you know what's going on here? Haha, <laughs> psych. Oh, wow. What an emotional scene. It's like, I know I and many others feel that scene long after it's over. Well, technically Biggs did ask us to check in on the leaf house, so I feel we must. Oh, I didn't even move past you, ma'am. But you certainly were offended by my presence. Got nothing. Okay. So we're headed to Corneo's, and... Is there any reason to go to the Moogle Emporium right now while this really sad music is playing? I'm pretty sure we bought everything we wanted to buy, but we do have more Moogle tokens now. I mean, is there a reason- My fellow oh. grounders, listen up, because boy do I have some news for you. Mm -hmm. And it's assured to knock your socks all the way so into next So after bombing week. reactors one and five, what do the eco-terrorists do? They go for the trifecta and take out Mako Reactor 7. Another attack by amateurs who don't care about collateral damage. The sky is falling and Avalanche is to blame. But wait! Did you know Wutai is the one funding their activities? For all their claims about fighting for the slums. They're nothing more than pawns of Wutai. Puppets dancing to the tune of their foreign masters. And that's the truth. Topside news delivered straight to your ears. That'll be five gil. Five gil, come on. Damn, man. Knew we couldn't trust Wu Tai to leave us alone. It's the reactors. They want them, we got them. Does this mean there'll what? be another war? After what they've done, what choice do we have? Five gil apiece. Cough it up. The truth ain't free, you know. <sighs> we ain't no damn pawns of Wu Tai. I couldn't care less about the rest, but that shit. <clears throat> No one will listen to us. There's no point in even trying. I'm sorry. Hey. Hey, Tifa, listen. There's no room in this for regrets or what ifs or any of that. All we can do is keep moving forward, keep following this path we chose. Wherever, so we can say we did all we could. I know. But right now, instead of looking forward, you need to look around. Everyone here is terrified. So I'm asking you, don't. Odd's job. Odd jobs, the final job. The collapse of the plate means that many people in the slums are in desperate need of assistance. Once the party enters the Shinra building, they will no longer be able to help anyone in need. Therefore, try to help as many people as possible before entering Shinra HQ. I know we're short on time, but let's try to help out wherever we can. I bet they're coming for us next. Okay. It's so interesting, that scene is so good at showing that Barrett is really, you know, the force of nature like fire, you know, passionate and, you know, always moving forward and you gotta make sacrifices and sometimes things might get burned while you're trying to, to get what you need. Done. And Tifa 
is like water. You know, slowly, more gentle. You're gonna get what you need and you're gonna get where you need to go, but we're gonna have maybe a little bit of a winding path and we're gonna wear you down over time. It's so interesting to see the comparison of these two essentially activists and how both is valuable in different times. So this has essentially opened us back up to... Discounts. Oh, angry shop owner. This has essentially opened us back up to this Later. whole area, right? How far could they have gone? Chad Thin. Cloud. Chad Thin. I'm glad to see that you're okay. Chad Lee in these times, I hope to develop new materia to help us endure. Research complete. Research complete. Wow. And what did we get for it? Steadfast block I thought we already had. Take slightly less damage and small ATB boost when guarding. Actually, that's not bad. I might actually use that now. Now that I've learned I have to guard sometimes and I'm like, I have to guard, but how am I supposed to heal if I can't, <laughs> if I can't attack? Small ATB increase for ally when repeating command two times. Slightly fills teammates' ATB gauges when ATB commands are used back to back. So if I use Braver two times in a row, everybody else gets a small ATB boost. ATB stagger increases ATB when staggering an enemy. Great, great. Okay, we'll buy him so that we have him, but... I don't know if we're going to use them. Might be nice to have a second assess materia, though. It's kind of expensive, though. Cloud, I have come up with the most fascinating theory. Perhaps you can lend me your assistance in gathering data to test it? Oh, boy. New battle intel is available. What do we got? The Stagger Effect Part 3. Increase Stagger Damage Bonus to 200%. Okay. Completed 14 out of 17 already. Assess 30 enemy types. Well, we already did that. Nailed it. MP Consumption. Completed 14 out of 17. Master all 12 types of Magic Materia. And clearly we've only mastered two. Which two have we mastered? Fire is one of them. Monster variants. Defeat monsters of 10 unique varieties. 7 out of 10. Oh, sorry. Okay, hold on. Wait. This is... Just do it once. This is 30 out of 30, 2 out of 12, 7 out of 10. Got it. Okay. Well, we can definitely talk to Chadley about the 30 out of 30. I have to tell you that I'm grateful for all of your help thus far. And I have to tell you that you are welcome. I've done it. I've developed a new material. I've got it. I've come up with a new recipe. Learn and use enemy skills. That's cool. These abilities can only be used when the material is set to your equipment. That's really cool. I don't know how I'm going to use it yet. I look forward to receiving but it's cool. Battle intel now, Chadley. Do you have I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information another VR mission for me? No, you don't. I great. look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. Yes, great. How far oh, are Miss Folia? Oh, Cloud, have you seen the kids around by any chance? I haven't seen them since they left to do their patrols. I knew I should have told them to stay inside today. If you do happen to run into them somewhere, could you tell them to come back right away? I can describe them if it'd help. Don't worry. I'll know. Just stay calm and wait here. You never know. They might come back on their own. Okay? Uh, yes. Of course. Thank you so very much. Please come back safe and sound. Please. Okay. 
So now we gotta go collecting children again. I don't know about that. Good to see you, Koopo. Oh, Moggy. What do you have for me? Steel pincers? Oh yeah, didn't we get a new Tifa weapon? Close combat with steel blades designed to slice enemies to ribbon. Okay, so this is a Barret weapon, but it is very different from his gun, Big Bertha. I mean, in the previous, I mean, how we've been doing things previously is essentially get all the weapons so that you can keep the abilities, but this really limits Barrett because then he's not a ranged fighter. So I don't love it, but we'll go ahead and get it. Seven Moogle medals? Ugh. For something I don't love. Enter a battle with the Toad status effect. Now, let me just be curious as to why why you would want to enter battle as a toad. Uh, slightly filled ATB gauge, increases effectiveness of healing spells cast, Moogle's Mortar, a medicinal mortar that Moggy sometimes has in stock. What does it do? Clearly nobody knows. But it is only worth one Moogle medal, so sure. And that's all of your, that's all of what you offer. Okay. Steel pincers it is. Come back soon, Kuko. So the question is, do we currently have proficiency in Big Bertha skills? Ability Maximum Fury. We do. So we can switch him to Steel Pincers and upgrade that and then hopefully use it and lose it. You know? So let's see what we got here. Two cores. One of these cores is Materious. Ooh, a lot of these cores are Materious slots. Okay, I can't spend them all. But I can definitely get one materia slot and then we need a linked materia slot so let's get that in okay okay so this is if he's going to be our elemental caster which currently Aerith is i don't love i don't love these weapons i don't love this weapon uh mm. let's go ahead and spend it on attack power and magic attack power Forty-two. We can get four more. A materia slot or MP. That's really tough. I don't really know what I want from Barrett right now. No one's wearing lightning, so it might be good to have lightning. Um, but. If we're going to do that, if he's going to be our lightning wielder, then it would be good to have an elemental materia. But we only have one. We don't we don't have multiple elemental materia. We only have the one. Could we buy another one somewhere? Probably. But in the meantime, let's go with the materia slot to link. That way they're both connected and we got 20. So then let's go ahead with the elemental materia damage boost and then see if we can get another elemental materia. And then we have 10 more. Ooh, fire, ice, wind. My guess is at Shinra HQ, we're gonna see creatures like the dogs my guess is we're gonna see humans, like guards. So, and then we're, we're probably gonna see some 
electrical enemies, robotic enemies. So we're going to need fire, ice, and lightning. Currently, Cloud has fire, Aerith has ice, and no one has lightning. So maybe we'll make Barret a secondary ice caster. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we need to get Barrett some ice and lightning materia. And we need to switch out Tifa's weapon and upgrade that. Okay. Switch out Tifa's weapon to the Mithril Claws. Chi Trap. An orb of materialized chi that deals damage on conflict. It's kind of fun. Okay, let's get Barrett's materia fixed. Warding, binding, healing. Okay, we have a second warding materia, but only one elemental. We have provoke subversion barrier. So if we need to get him lightning and ice, oh, this is on one of Aerith's other weapons or something. MP up, item master, cleansing, let's give, we, I'm sure we have, yeah, two star lightning and let's remove Let's remove barrier since he has life ward or whatever it's called, life block with ice. Great. Okay, now let's level up Tifa. We have attack power, magic attack power, MP, new materia slot, debuff, elemental defense, concentration activation, magic boost with full MP, attack spells, MP cost reduction. I, they really want Tifa to only do damage, huh? All right, so let's go here to our classic attack power, attack power. New materia slot and MP. Ooh. Debuff resistance. Elemental defense. Yeah, let's go with the elemental defense because Tifa is so squishy. Debuff resistance, attack spells, cost reduction. I hate that one. Sure. I don't know what it means yet, but we'll go with it. We have 27 left. Yeah, let's do that. And then we can only go to the other core and we'll get magic attack power. Great. Now let's give Tifa another materia. Now, if I look at her Sonic Strikers or Metal Knuckles, what did she have? I don't remember, but let's look at it. She had Chakra Materia, First Strike, Luck Up, Revival Auto Cure, Luck Up, and she had Arrow, I believe. Oh, we could give her synergy. But then we'd have to take away one of these. She has two luck ups. She doesn't need both of them, technically. Although this is only a few away from leveling. That might irritate me. But uh, yeah, okay. So let's switch chakra down here. Let's move you over here. 
Let's get you synergy and let's give you maybe arrow. Uh, wind, it's called wind. <laughs> wind materia, which is on one of your other ones. Okay, cool. And that right there is where we're going to end today's episode. Whew. That was a doozy, wasn't it? Um, I have been waiting to share that scene with you all since I recorded it. It's my favorite scene. It is one of the most meaningful and impactful and beautiful scenes. And it's optional, so you might not have seen it yet. Um, I was a little worried I wasn't going to get it, but I'm really, really, really glad that I did. Oh, it's really emotional for me. And um, mm, I just love it. I love that we were able to experience that together. That's th This is one of those moments where I thank goodness that I'm a content creator, that I'm a streamer, and that I get to have these moments with you all and I get to share them and we get to experience them together that's that's really friggin cool I don't think I can express how friggin cool that is so thank you all for watching I really would not do this without you I really couldn't do it without you so thank you for your support I'm just feeling really grateful today and uh, I love you all very much so please remember to like the video if you enjoyed it share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too and please, of course, remember to subscribe to Strange Rebel Gaming so you don't miss the next video. Oh, I can't wait for the rest of the playthrough. That's all. I love you guys. Bye!